Fred Wallace Hayes Jr. has spent over five decades in the service of his country, both publicly and privately, as one of the most revered and respected figures in aviation and aerospace history. An integral part of the Apollo space program, Fred Hayes was a backup crew member on the celebrated Apollo 8, 11, and 16 missions. Hayes would become a household name, however, as a crew member of the famed Apollo 13 lunar mission, a mission initially marred by trouble, but which ultimately stands as one of the greatest examples of human ingenuity, teamwork, and courage of all time. The Apollo 13 mission was an incredible journey, but it would be only one among many incredible journeys for Fred Hayes. Hayes received his Naval Aviator wings in 1954. While serving as a pilot in the Marine Corps, this Biloxi, Mississippi native also earned his engineering degree from the University of Oklahoma. Soon after, he began flying missions for NASA while continuing to serve as a fighter pilot in the Air Force. Hayes relocated to Dryden Flight Research Center in 1963, where he piloted many high-performance and experimental aircraft, including the M2 F1 lifting body aircraft, flight research that contributed significantly to the development and design of the Space Shuttle Orbiter. Hayes' career would take an historic turn in 1966, however, when he would be selected by NASA to become one of the first 19 Apollo astronauts. All right, we've had a problem here. We've had a hardware restart. I don't know what it was. Okay. All right, Houston, we've had a problem. We've had a major... Apollo 13 will be forever etched in the collective consciousness of the world. For three days in 1970, Hayes and fellow crew members Jim Lovell and Jack Swigert fought for survival inside their crew module and on the world stage. Due to an oxygen tank explosion, the lives of the Apollo astronauts hung in the balance from the near beginning until the very end of the mission. Working closely with Houston ground controllers, Hayes and his fellow crew members ingeniously converted their lunar module into a lifeboat, saving precious energy and oxygen, and ultimately their lives. The world breathed a sigh of relief with the safe return and dramatic end to the Apollo 13 mission. But Hayes would be far from ending his involvement in groundbreaking high-risk missions, missions that would help usher in a new generation of space exploration. After attending Harvard Business School in 1972, Hayes returned to Dryden Flight Research Center to work on a new reusable space aircraft being tested by NASA, the Space Shuttle Orbiter. In 1977, Hayes and fellow NASA astronaut Gordon Fullerton would take part in another series of risky proof-of-concept flying missions known as approach and landing tests. After years of research and development, the shuttle orbiter was finally ready for a real-life flight and landing test. In an effort to test its flight control systems and flying characteristics, the pilots would separate from the 747 and fly the engineless orbiter to a runway landing. The success of the approach and landing tests were critical for the advancement of the space shuttle program. In 1981, the Space Shuttle Columbia was successfully launched and returned safely to Earth, the first mission in an unprecedented 30-year history of the Space Shuttle program. In his 20-year career with NASA, Hayes logged over 9,000 hours in flight in more than 80 types of air and spacecraft, spent over 142 hours in space, and took part in history-making missions that shaped space exploration as we know it today. With an extraordinary record of public service to his country, Fred Hayes retired from NASA in 1979. With his extensive technical, practical, and academic background, Hayes was recruited by the Grumman Aerospace Corporation as their vice president of space programs. He would eventually become president of Grumman Technical Services until his retirement in 1996. 
Although officially retired, Hayes continues to make an impact on communities and people around him. As a public speaker, as a counselor for child burn victims, as a board member of Infinity Science Center, a nonprofit NASA partner formed to raise money for a learning center at Stennis Space Center in his home state of Mississippi. His achievements have been recognized from the White House to the Air Force, from NASA to New York City, from Hollywood to Harvard, and everywhere in between. Fred Hayes, pilot, astronaut, scholar, businessman, role model, American hero.